mic check. I think we're good. Actually, a couple minutes early if I don't get up and try to wrangle any kittens. Kittens! Kittens, come on! Here. Oh, hi. You came when I called. That was very sweet. I think that um, Drizzo here is completely recovered, feeling much better now. That's the way she seems to be anyhow. Uh, let's see here. May as well start our recording. All right, well, I'm going to have to switch that camera at some point. Hang on. Oh, that camera can only do all the way zoomed in or all the way not right now. Yeah, that's not very helpful. Let me see one more time if I can call him. Somebody's coming. Kittens, come here. We're down here. It's fine. I guess they made their choice. Anybody does want to hang out with me is here. It's fine. We have plenty of good kittens, including this good kitten right here. Mwah. All right. I'm not going to get started until it's time. So we got uh, like a minute, I guess. <laughs> Real technicality there, but... Uh, you know, two minutes, whatever, we'll do it. It is a very short mailbag today. Uh, in fact, one of these is not even for today. I just brought it in to show it to you. So yeah, it's even shorter than you think. Um, but that's good because I have so much to get done today. Uh, I've got big plans. So uh, yesterday I started the big network upgrade project that was been really so long overdue for us um, and today I plan to continue it and hopefully until it's basically done it's very complex the changes that we're making and uh, hopefully at this point I don't need to actually go offline to make any of the changes but if I make the slightest mistake anywhere along the way we'll go offline for at least a few minutes at a time uh, so expect a little bit of intermittent kitten academy today um, if we're unlucky. Of course, if we're lucky, there won't be any of that. Um, plus, uh, I have to get my workout in. It's been a couple days and I'm really feeling it. Uh, not that I want to. It's, uh, it's been getting harder and harder to, to get that uh, done these days. Um, but, you know, it's, you do what you can. You strike when the uh, iron's hot or something. And then, uh, uh, frankly, my other goal today is to finally kill Margaret the Fell Omen, because it's been a long time. I think I might be ready to try again. Uh, that guy, oof. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, a lot of that going on. Mostly the network thing, though. I think that's going to take up the majority of my day if I let it, and I, I plan to let it. Um, so, uh, like I said, hopefully no, no big um, uh, taking us offline there, but there may be a few moments here and there where um, the stream goes offline, uh, sort of like it did yesterday, um, for a little longer than I expected. So, uh, we'll see. Like I said, fingers crossed. Um, in news, uh, well, I mean, you can see Drizzo's feeling pretty good, um, and Sprout, of course, feeling great all the time. And I, I do hope that they find their adopters soon. I hope they go together because they really are a pair and wonderful kitties. But that's about it. Uh, this is the one that's not for today. You can see right here, it very clearly says, please save for February 11th or 12th mailbag. Uh, but I wanted to show it to you anyway because it's so shiny. 
Um, and uh, because then you know that we did get a little bit more mail than this. In fact, we did also get another package that was not for mailbag at all. Thanks, uh, Burns's. And um, I think that uh, we may as well just jump in. We don't have any letters today, just the packages. So this is, again, going to be a very short one, but with all my big plans for today, it's definitely better that way for me. Uh, so that's good. Okay, this is addressed to Kitten Academy. I'm surprised it got here considering it's this dark blue with a black address on it. <laughs> a little hard to read, but it did make it to us. So let's see here. Oh, it's cute. It says Crochet BYM Creations, I think. Is that what that says? Please leave a review to support my small business. That's sweet. Um, let's see, there's got to be more to it. There is a little note here on graph paper sealed in a way that makes it impossible to open without tearing the paper. Uh, hang on now. It makes me think of all the delivery people that want to leave their packages directly in front of our door so we can't open it. Let's, I almost think that they do it on purpose at this point. It's so consistent. I just had to double check to make sure my mic was on. I should have checked with Discord. Uh, I mean, really consistent that, that they all want to put it directly in front of the door, which, you know, the outside door opens out, of course. That's what this feels like, the letter equivalent of that. There we go. I've almost thought about putting a note on the door that's like, hey, if you put the package in front of the door, I can't open it. Uh, okay, here we go. Hi, Chris and DJ. Thanks for all you do. Use these as you see fit. Much love from J. Lou, Matt, and Fiddle. Aw, that's great. Uh, so, use as you see fit. What are they? They are little crocheted strawberries. They are adorable. Look at that. They must have little catnip in them, maybe? That's, uh, those are just so cute. I don't, I don't know what else to say about it, but they're perfect little strawberries. Buddy, do you want to try a strawberry with that grass? Holly? Oh, 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 oh she smacked it. Like, stay away from my grass. I think she's having a little trouble getting that blade of grass down. She'll figure it out. I did grow grass for me. It hasn't filled in as much as I would like yet. Um, but I know it will get there. I guess this is um, from at crochet BYM creations. I think that's what that says. There's a very slight chance it's crochet L-O-Y-M, um, but I don't think so. Uh, anyway, thank you so much, Fiddle and Crew. That is fantastic. They're very cute little strawberries, and they're the perfect size to be little balls for these kittens to play with. That's fantastic. All right. Uh, this appears to be, oh boy, the customs declaration says cat toys and chocolate. Oh, from Hell's Dells, of course. All right, Hell's Dells. Let's see what you have sent. There's a note on a nice piece of uh, stationery here. It's, hi, hi, <laughs> you want to see here? You can take a look while I'm getting this ready, okay? This one is so sweet. She just likes to come and rub on my ankles and everything. I know she's starting to look very big, but she's such a snuggly kitten. All right, it says, Hi, Chris, DJ, cats, and kittens. Enclosed are gifts for Callie and the timey wimeys. I've enclosed one fur mouse that has a valerian in it, not catnip. I think that's a silver vine uh, that we sometimes call that. Uh, I think it's the same thing. I'm from, uh, uh, please, could you deploy it straight away to see if the cats like it? Also, some mini eggs for you. The first I saw this year. <laughs> Love, Hells Dells. Oh, thanks. I was hoping to avoid the, the mini eggs. I already saw on Discord Frozen Tundra Crew got like a, uh, I want to say it was like a four pound, three pound bag, something like that. Like pound ba pounds, multiple pounds in a bag. I didn't even know they made them that big. And then she says, of course, she's tempted to get another and send it to me. Let me say, please don't. I'm sure Hell's Dells has got me covered with all I need for now. I really, uh, really want to keep up on the good work that I'm doing for myself. And uh, with that chocolate's here, I'm going to eat it. So um, let's see, though. Uh, the Valerian, so I do know already that they like it quite a bit. Um, I actually put some, we, we had like powdered silver vine um, that I put... Uh, like in the middle of their rug in the uh, living room and they were all over it they all love that stuff 
the older kittens, I mean. I don't know if the younger kittens have been noticing it so much, but I even saw uh, Custard yesterday when he made it down to the living room go to that same spot that I, I think I've even vacuumed since then and start sniffing it and kind of rubbing around on it because it's just a great, it's great stuff. Um, so, indeed, you sent a Cadbury mini eggs, and this is exactly the right size for me because I think I can have some of this without feeling too bad about it, especially if I can split it over a couple days, but I've never had that kind of willpower. We'll see. So, the rest of it, let's see how this is all, if it is in fact labeled and if I can figure out which toy you meant. Oh, this says deployment, so this must be the one to put out right away. Let's open that first and see what they do while I'm opening the rest. Oh, there's a couple things in here, though. Oh, a few things. So first off, we have this little mouse. I'm sure I just saw this identical mouse upstairs. It's the perfect kind of mouse for Drizzo to want to play fetch with. Drizzo! Oh, well, I don't know if she's going to get it now that everybody came running her way. This must be the Valerian, because you've labeled it with a V, and it is a fur toy. We also have this... Oh, hi, Maggie. This must be what she wants. We have this really cute sort of patchwork kitty that's got all these different patterns on it. It is adorable, and it's crinkly. There you go. And I know you like little kick bunnies that are crinkly. Oh, and then we also have this long-tailed mouse that might also be the kind of thing that oh, Drizzo would play fetch with. By the way, um, I gave her, uh, when she was feeling down, I got her old lobster and let her out, the, the, her favorite toys from when she was a kitten that I've been saving in a drawer because they're basically destroyed already. Like, they're just scraps of fabric at this point. And she won't, even if I get her the exact same toy that is new, it, that doesn't transfer over. I'm sure some of you have had that experience of having, like, a favorite doll or something and uh, wearing it out when you were a kid, and if, if they'd been replaced with a brand new of the same one, it, it, wouldn't, it wouldn't appeal the same way. Uh, it just doesn't have the same flavor, I guess. So, uh, it's unfortunate, but, uh, but she did seem to recognize and want to play with them again, which was really cute and made me feel better. Uh, made me think that she was starting to feel a bit better. And, as of today, like I said, I think she's completely better, so that's good. Now, I know Maggie's a big fan of the Valerian, so she may want to go right for that. But eventually, she will share it around, I know. All right, there we go. Now, let's just take a look at what the rest of this is. This one says Calendar on it. That's you, Cal. That's your full name. I know. We we'll only use it if you're in trouble, though. Oh, I heard something. Okay, these are cute. So we have a catnip um, sort of kick toy. This is the Jackson Pollock fish from Yao Catnip. We have one of these really cool fur on one side catnip kickers. And she also gets uh, her own little fur mouse. One of these that also has the little uh, silver vine nugget on it. Yeah, this is a favorite around here. I've got a drawer full of these to hand out that are brand new, so I'll get you your own, Maggie. You don't get this one. And look, another strawberry. It says Haluchi on it, I think. I don't know what that would mean, but it's a very cute little pink strawberry. So these are... Uh, that's very cute for a little cow. I'm going to try to set it here. hope nobody digs into it while I'm going through the rest of this stuff. Mittens, it says star, sun, moon, timey wimeys. What do you think that means, buddy? Greg, you have any ideas? Maggie, don't hiss at kittens. I'll put you away. You want to go to my office? She loves to hang out in my office. She often tries to get me to take her in there, actually, so it won't be any shame if she has to go. Oh! Yao Cat Mittens. I have not seen these before. They are new to me. It is a little mitten with a rainbow on it, and it looks like uh, this is a little mitten with a banana on it. Maggie, let's, let's go to my office. How about if I... And, oh, and there's another third mitten with a little heart on it. I have never seen the mittens before. I have seen the star, sun, uh, and moon set before, which I like quite a bit, of course. So the mittens are cool. That's new to me. Probably to them, too. I would imagine if it wasn't new, I would have seen it. Okay. Maggie Moo, do you want to go to the office? You can bring that with you. I don't mind. Here, let's bring it with us. Hang on, guys. I'll be right back. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Cut.
Come here. Come here. Let's go to my office, okay? And then you can hang out with me once I get started on work. Come on, right up here. I brought your toy. It's okay. I know. Do you want to hang in my office or do you want to hang with Custard in this room? You want to try that out? Something new? Here, try this out. Try something new. Yeah, here, Maggie. Here's your toy. There you go. A little something new. Hi, Jan. I'm going back downstairs. Do you want to go downstairs? Come on. If you're following me, come back down. Okay. All right. I cleaned both annexes this week uh, so that we could have them as rooms to shuffle cats in and out of. And I've been putting Custard in the second annex a couple times. He's in there right now. And so I put Maggie in there instead of in my office. Try something new. See what she likes. Okay, this one says Tiny Wimeys. Hi. Oh, now you're going to come sniff around. Now the Big Meanie's gone, huh? Big Meanie Mom. Oh, look at that. One of these for each of them. Well, they are going to love that. These are really good toys. They're fun to play with and run around with, but they also, each one has this little silver vine nugget on it. Those things are such a hit for the older cats and kittens. Uh, like I said, we've got a, a cabinet, our treat cabinet has a whole bunch of those in there. I should get some out for them today. I do bring them out regularly. They look a little weird if I just get the nuggets out and put down the stream. They look like somebody left a poop laying around somewhere. Um, but they are really enjoyed. Hi. Okay. Well, you want to sniff everything? That's fine with me. Hi. Oh, what are you looking at? This is, oh, this is a bag of real fur mice. Oh, man, those things are highly valued toys. So they will have a lot of fun with those. It's a whole bag of them. For the tiny wimeys. Thanks so much, Hell's Health. That's the good stuff right there. Uh, oh, was that was that it? No, there's one more. I thought there was one more. Just hidden behind the big kitten. Also says tiny wimey on it. And Ooh. oh, it's like a set of little animals. We have a an alligator, I'm going to say, not a dinosaur, an alligator, because uh, everything else is, uh, this is a hedgehog, an elephant, a whale with a little uh, water spout that's not uh, entirely coming out there. Oh, it looks right from the side. I guess that works. Uh, some sort of a cute little bird. And, oh, another alligator. All right, look at that. Uh, it reminds me, I think it was Jimmy D's joke, uh, how do you tell an alligator from a crocodile? And uh, one sees you later and the other sees you in a while. That's how you tell. I'm pretty sure I heard that from Jimmy D. Probably not his joke originally, but uh, I think that's where I heard it. Okay. This is addressed to Kitten Academy. That's us. Oh, it's full of stuff. Is there a note, though? Yes. When I saw the tiny wimey said blasted into space, I had to send some fun stuff for the room. Love and lobsters from Maya. Maya Bastet, thank you. Let's see what fun space stuff we have. Ooh, oh, that is some fun city space stuff. I've never seen this. Uh, this is a cool set with a rocket and an astronaut and an alien that says, squeeze me. Oh, it squeaks. They're all interested in what that might be. Okay, we'll deploy that right away. Even more fun, though, is something called a UFO Critter, cat, the chase and play, the sensory stimulation cat toy. Uh, it looks like, let's see, it says spin randomly and LEDs. I think the batteries are, oh, it's a bristle bot that looks like a UFO. I have never seen that, but that is fun. Let's see if we can get it to go right now before we open our final box, which was very heavy. So I think we know, we have some idea what might be in there. 
Let's see, it's got two batteries in it, but are they spares or are they the batteries I need to put in it to get it to go? Let's find out. So this is a ver variety of the bristle bot, like the hex bug is. You can see it's got actual bristles on it. And then on top, it's a cute little UFO. Can you see that? And it does look like it's got, no, that's just a little vibrator that makes it go in there. It's, let's just see, it's got an on off switch. Now I'm going to have to uh, fill it up before it, it will go anywhere and it is uh, it appears to have a screw that holds it closed so I won't be able to deploy it right this minute but uh, we will definitely get this out for them and going it's too cool uh, that's why you sent two of them that is that is really cute I just you know I love little stuff like this and uh, uh, you know little tech toys I like bristle bots the kittens love bristle bots and uh, I love new, new designs, and I love the little UFO motif, so it's perfect on like every level. I can't wait to see it going, um, but I will have to because it requires me to go get a screwdriver, and I think I've already done enough getting up for one mailbag. So I'm going to put it right over here. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, we'll worry about, actually, we'll worry about getting this all put away right now. Hi, what are you sniffing at, kids? I see they all decided to come down finally and hang out. That's nice. Ari, you are on the last box I have to open. It's even heavier with you on it. Okay. Let's find out. Buddy, you want me to just kind of work around you or what? Do you have any idea how unhelpful you're being? Come on, look at that. All right, there we go. This is from Karen Sows. Hey, Karen Sows, how you doing? Uh, let's see, it's a little bit more than I expected. It's got some new low in it, which is fantastic because you can never have too much of that. Uh, so the kittens say. Now there are some notes at the bottom here, I think. It says use as you see fit, Mr. A from Karen Sows. Thank you so much. For Mr. T and his recovery from surgery, much love and spoogles. Aw, well, let's see about that. I don't know if that refers to the healthy heart functional treats, real beef and beef liver. That would be cute and appropriate. Healthy heart treats for little teaspoon. So cute. There's also some kind of a toy in here. I think. What is this about? It says cat dancers. Oh, these are the fun ones. Okay. Uh, interesting. This product is part of our packaging reduction program. I see. That's why it's in the little plastic bag instead of their usual branded bag. That's fine with me. That's great. These are so fun. I'm going to put these out right now because we have a whole bunch of these. Everybody loves them. Teaspoon loves them. I'm imagining these kittens love them, although I don't know if they've encountered them yet. Um, but they are always a hit. There we go. We'll see these kids running around with them before long. Oh, that hit you in the butt. Did you just, no, what was it? What got you there? There you go. Good. What are you doing? Are you winding up the jump? Yeah, okay. Otherwise, that was a very suspicious sit. Well, that was mailbag, everybody. I know it was a short one, but like I said, I got big plans for today uh, that hopefully does not involve taking the stream offline for any major amount of time. Fingers crossed, um, but uh, definitely it's going to be an awful lot of work. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. So thank you so much to everybody for everything. It was perfect. It's the perfect amount of stuff for these kittens to get today. Um, their endowments are going to be fantastic. And uh, I'll put these toys out. I'll get some uh, batteries in the bristle bot and find a place to put it. I've been meaning to bring, bring a uh, ball track down here for these guys, or maybe get out one of the old plastic uh, Cadet design ball tracks that are in the basement and put it out for these guys. And that's a nice way to keep the bristle bots confined. I usually like to put them, like put the ball track on the wooden floor and then put it inside there so that they don't just run all around the room and get trapped under a door. So that makes it a little more of a project to get it all deployed, but I think I will do it that way. Um, you probably can't see little monkey over here is going nuts on one of those uh, those little toys that I just put out, the cardboard ones, which are, like I said, always a big hit. They're so simple. Buddy, now you stop playing with it? Okay. 
I'm surprised what a hit this grass has been too, even though it's not, like I said, fully grown yet. It'll get there. Let's see. Okay, let's get all this stuff put in, uh, dispositioned. There we go, we'll say that. Sound fancy today. Hi, hi, hi both of you. Okay. I guess we'll just leave these strawberries out too since they were already out. I don't know what theme they go with, but they're very cute. Should turn off my mic before I forget. What'd you say to me, Logan? Who? Oh. Whoa, what are you kids so excited about? It's the healthy heart treats, isn't it? I'm gonna put those in my pocket. Stop, stop, you're not getting any of those yet. Your hearts are fine. This is a very cute set, astronaut rocket. Alien. There we go. We'll put those right here for now. What are you talking about, Logan Belly? Hey Jan, where are you going? You going to the big kid litter box? Over here in the corner by the food. Mm. Hi Fry. Hi Fry. Don't fall down the stairs. Okay, there we go. Just set it there. This is for the next mailbag. Well, hey, thanks again, everybody. I know it was a brief one. Uh, hopefully, you guys had enough time to eat your breakfasts, though. And these kittens are going to continue to run all around for a little while. I'm not going to put them up until they're ready to go to sleep. So we'll try to keep them on camera in the meantime. For now, though, I'm going to put the mic away and uh, I'm going to end the, the recording of the stream. Cause that I gotta check to make sure that, that what they're playing in now is visible somewhere. Not exactly, kids. You're being so silly over here. Let's uh, let's get that on camera. Okay. Well, now they just ran away. They all ran away. That's fine too. Let me see how much that's blocking. If it doesn't, uh, sorry. Sorry you can't hear me saying that. I guess I'm doubly sorry. 
And if it does work good, I'm not sorry a bit. I'm not sorry for anything. I'm not sorry, you're sorry. All right, that was a good way to end the recording. <laughs>